I remember like getting on a flight at five in the morning from Toronto to go to New York to do the test and like listening to the Avengers soundtrack the whole way on repeat on the plane, being like, you know, don't lose it, this is your moment. What makes Shang-Chi different from a lot of the Marvel superheroes you've seen before? First and foremost, uh, he doesn't wear a mask or a suit of armor. So basically, his face is just kind of out in the open. What you see is what you get, which means that um, in all the action sequences, there's not a whole lot of places to hide or to be replaced by CG. So it's, uh, you know, it's as much of me as it possibly can be, which is both exciting and awesome and also was really, really tiring when we were shooting it. Uh, the audition process honestly blew by so quickly. I remember the whole kind of journey leading up to the screen test. So basically when you have a screen test, it's kind of like going to work. So you show up at the studio, you know, you got the lights all set up, there's a full crew, you get your hair and makeup done and everything, and you get your wardrobe, and it's like you're doing a scene. So I remember like getting on a flight at five in the morning from Toronto to go to New York to do the test and like listening to the Avengers soundtrack the whole way on repeat on the plane, being like, you know, don't lose it, this is your moment. And uh, and then just getting there and uh, working with Destin, who's such an incredible filmmaker, it kind of did a really great job at keeping my mind at ease, which was difficult considering that like my heart was beating at like uh, an unhealthy rate. But um, yeah, I just kind of remember that whole day being like, you know, trying to keep it all together because I knew how important it was for me. And uh, you know, thankfully two days after that, I got a call from Kevin Feige saying that I got the part. And then four days uh, later, I was on a plane to San Diego. So like I said, like it happened so fast and my brain still hasn't quite processed all of it, but it's the it's the greatest journey, man. It's, it's really been awesome. It's not like there is a father that like is evil and wants to be evil and you know is just like a mustache twirling villain and that's kind of the way that he raises his son. Like he raises his son in the best way that he knows how. It just turns out that it's not great and not very healthy and and the whole journey is learning how to live life on his own terms and to escape from the shadow of his father and his father, all the expectations that his father places on him. So it's a very, I mean, for those of us that are Asian American or even just, you know, any, any immigrant household where our parents come from another country and, and in us, they put in all of their hopes and dreams of, of what they want for us to accomplish, you know, that, that, that's a familiar feeling for all of us. Thank <laughs> you.